Hi, it's Deb with Free from Food Addiction and The Congruence Code and pretty much just bring in all of me to all of you. And today I want to chat with you about the pressure of being free. Because I speak with women all day long, they say they want to be free, but then when we actually get into it, they have a lot of fear about being free, a lot of fear about being empowered because what are the implications when I actually don't have this problem with you know, my dependency in relationships or with food or with alcohol or with controlling and fixing and creating chaos, whatever the thing is, as soon as that goes away, now I'm gonna actually be responsible. I'm gonna have to be accountable. I'm gonna now be in a position where I might disappoint others and all these other fears start to come up and it almost seems better or easier to stay in the addictive or obsessive or self-sabotaging pattern because then at least I don't really have to actually go into that space where people are going to be looking to me to do something and now all the pressure's on me and it's all on my shoulders and I don't want to have to be all these things for all these people and what about my time and I don't have enough time for me as it is and so how is it going to be if I'm all of a sudden free and I'm nice and what happens if I'm nice and then everyone takes advantage of me and on and on and on, right? Do you relate to any of this? Because I hear this all the time and maybe it's a different flavor, maybe it's a slightly different flavor for you, but chances are that th there's, an there's an aspect of this conversation that is there for you if you are someone who's wanting more freedom but finds that she's in this sabotage cycle and she goes for something and then she pulls back and it's kind of not fully all in, this might be there. And so if it's there for you, I want to share with you what was a massive, massive breakthrough for me because I used to struggle with the exact same thing because I was a total perfectionist and I wouldn't even actually try anything unless I knew I'd be perfect at it, let alone taking on something like getting free from my addictions because I had made so many promises to myself that I couldn't keep. And so the idea that I was actually going to face that and take that on was it, it filled me with so much anxiety and overwhelm that for years I just didn't and it was easier for me to put blinders on and just tell myself that it wasn't that bad or that I didn't care or that, um, that, that it was okay, that I had it under control. And, you know, that didn't really work because the anxiety of not looking at what I knew deep down I needed to look at actually filled me with even more discomfort that would take me back to those very patterns. So it was this really psych, circular, this really circular thing, this, this cycle that would constantly take me back to square one or negative square one. And I just had a lot of shame. And so I want to I want to help you to not feel that shame and feel like you're wrong and you're bad and that you're the only person who's not getting this because, sister, this is like, it's actually so common that I pretty much would say almost every single woman who I've worked with over the last decade has some form of this. So you're definitely not alone. But I do want to give you a tool that really, really worked in my life. And this was a huge aha. And I just want to pass it along so that you don't have to spend much longer in this sort of, you know, I really want to be free, but nah, actually I'm kind of feel too much pressure around that whole freedom conversation and I might as well just go, you know, fix something in the kitchen to go eat. So, so the tool really, and, and I guess the aha is that I had always thought that my freedom was me learning how to do something different. It was like me having to now manage my food and figure it all out and that somehow I was going to go from not being able to figure it out to being able to figure it out and that when I did that then I was also responsible for figuring out all the other areas of my life. So once I figured out how to manage food then I needed to figure out how to manage the other areas and with other people wanting more from me I was going to have to show up because that's what I'm supposed to do and I had all of these beliefs about what it actually meant for me to be free and what it was going to look like. And the analogy that I want to give you 
is like, imagine when you embark on this path of actually getting free of your addiction. Maybe it's food, maybe it's your dependency in relationships, maybe it is alcohol, um, maybe you're not even fully sure exactly what it is. It feels like kind of a mixture of a bunch of things, control, general obsession. Is that you step into a place, a new, new place, where everything that you knew and everything that you thought you knew about what you needed, all the theories, all the information, all of the expertise or the knowledge, all the work you've done on yourself, all that stuff that has been helpful and not helpful, all those patterns, all those beliefs about yourself and what is possible, everything that you think that you know has brought you to where you are right now. And in order for you to go any further, you're going to have to set that aside. And so my number one tool for you right now is to actually set aside everything that you think that you know about what it means to actually be free and what it's going to look like on the other side. Because I can tell you right now that when you embark on this, here's the analogy, when you embark on this pathway, Imagine yourself like a snowflake in a little snow globe and things get a little bit shaken up because you, you know, you have to kind of set things, set things aside and you're kind of like, okay, I'm not actually sure. And it, it, it it's not confusing. It, it, it makes you curious. So instead of being in confusion land, what I help my clients do is get curious and then get clarity. So you really get to move from the confusion and the overwhelm into curiosity and clarity. And, and then what ends up happening is that when all of those snowflakes settle back down, you are on a completely new landscape. You have a completely new vantage point. Everything feels different and you are on new footing. And so the questions that you have, the anxieties that you have, the fears that you have right now feel really true and relevant for you right now. But I can tell you right now, sister, is that on the other side of this, the entire conversation, the whole landscape changes. You're not even asking the same questions. You're not even seeing the world in the same way. It's all very different. And guess what? It becomes intuitive. It becomes intuitive and the answers are there for you and you don't have to seek them out and you don't have to search for them and you don't have to manage things. And guess what? You don't have to do things that you don't want to do. You don't have to be Mother Teresa and and give of yourself like a martyr and never have time for you. All that stuff is all the beliefs of how you think it's going to be and it doesn't end up being that way. So what I want to give you today is some hope some hope that you being free can actually be something that is beyond your wildest imagination, that you can have freedom and you can be present in your life and you can be okay just being you and you can actually have more quality time for you because you're not obsessed all the time. You're not burning up energy trying to manage your life. You actually have more time. You have more energy and it's intuitive to you about how you live in the world. You are basing your choices off of inner trust and inner guidance and so you can actually relax and take it easy and stop struggling. So, If that is something that you want, then sister, I'm telling you right now that you can actually have that. All you need to do is be willing to set aside everything you think you know for an open mind and a new experience and be willing to go from your overwhelm, confusion, chaos, whatever that is, into a mode of curiosity, which can lead to clarity. That's, that's it right there. And if you're sitting there going, okay, yeah, that's great. And I'm willing to get curious and I want to get clear and I need some more clarity. Then, um, then hit me up because I would love to, I would love to help you get some clarity on your next steps. I mean, this is what I'm passionate about doing. And so I'm just going to leave a link, um, at the bottom of this video and, um, and, and, Just book some time with me. Let's have a conversation. Like all I want to do is help you to have more freedom because 
I know that there is this part of you that wants to shine more. I just know that. And, and there's people who are waiting for you to shine because they need your specific medicine, your specific gifts, your specific wisdom and inspiration. And so I've been put here on the earth to help women like you have more freedom so you can light up and then you can go and light up all these other people. So by, by you coming and connecting with me, getting clarity for you, you're actually helping the people that you're here to help. It's actually service. It's not selfish. So go ahead and just book some time. Let's connect. Let's dive a little bit deeper together, help you get some clarity so that you can really, really see and know what your next steps are so that you can have that real, authentic freedom to just be you. So thank you so much for taking this time out, spending it with me. I hope it was valuable for you. I just adore you. And I want to connect more with you soon, so I hope I get a chance to do that. Bye for now.